Okay, now we're going to wet the skin out. The skin <coughs> is basically, uh, the way I do it is I cut mylar to the size of the wing, plus about, I give about 30, 20 to 30 millimeter extra at the trailing edge. Because when the two skins come together over the wings and they meet, um, they can adjust a little bit and stick out because the bottom is going to go a little bit further than the top because the top's got a bigger curve. So I've made about 30 more extra here. Now I've put, I've used the mylars to cut the 106 glass. This is 106 gram glass cloth. Cut at 45 degrees. Uh, basically I always cut at 45. So the fibers are orientated this way in the skins, uh, which helps with the torsional stiffness of this thing. The bending loads are going to be taken up by the shear web and the spar caps, which will be about in this area. I've also calculated where my um, aileron is going to be cut, and I've put an extra strip of glass across here. This, by the way, is one layer of 106, the full length, and then I've got another layer of 106 up to about this point here, and I've cut it so that this point ends on the center of the spark, where the spar cap will be, and the fibers are basically delivering all the loads into the spark cap and helping to distribute loads out um, along the spark. Uh, and this strip over here is just where I'm going to be cutting through. I don't want to cut through just one layer of glass. I want two layers of glass. So I've put this layer uh, here. So the reason that I've mixed, I'm going to just dribble it onto the glass. And, and I've painted the mylars with, in this case, MS Primer. MS stands for medium solid, um, because I'm going to be painting this wing anyway, afterwards to get the final color scheme. Uh, in some cases, if you, uh, I want to do quite a fancy color scheme, so I'm going to paint afterwards. But you can also paint directly onto your color scheme directly onto the mylars. All right, this is basically the last of the resin. I'll have to mix up a bit more because this certainly won't be enough. Now I'm using Epilam 2022. Whilst that's soaking in, let me just quickly dispense a little bit more. Um, in my scale here. was about 50 grams that I used there so far. I'll mix up another maybe 50, 60 grams. Okay, this is a 40% by weight mix ratio and I've got on the scale 53.2 times 1.4 which is the 40% so I need 74.4. 74. Right. Okay, so we just need to get to make sure that this is thoroughly mixed. It is important, very important, that you mix your resin very well. And this Epilam 2022. Um, I don't know if you can see it from there, but that's the resin system I'm using, Epilam 2022. Very good high mechanical strength resin system, great for thin wing skins and places where you need superior mechanical properties from your resin system. Okay, now it seems like a hang of a little cloth here for a, such a big wing, but I can assure you that it is more than adequate. This 106 gram makes beautiful wing skins. Alright, so <clears throat> now we can take the squeegee and just start to spread this. Now, 
the threads and out. That's what's so nice about working on a on the mylars on a flat, nice flat surface like this. It's very easy to wet out your wings, your wing skins, and then transfer them onto the foam. Now, as I said, I've cut the mylars to the span of the foam and I've allowed about 30 millimeters sticking out the trailing edge over here. So it's very, and then I've used the mylars to cut the glass, and the glass is cut exactly to the same shape as the mylars. So it's also important for me to make sure that the glass is lined up with the mylars nicely and wet out nicely. Oops. <laughs> Difficult to pick it up. Alright, so I can get this out. This is two layers, yes, yeah, so I need a little bit extra reason. But any excess I will use I'll put back in the cup, I'll just squeeze you off and put it back in the cup. Disturb the edges of this where they join here. Use this resin here. Can use this to wet out. See, I put a little bit of pressure on this squeegee. You just want a nice even distribution of resin everywhere. No any dry spots. So this will go right up to the root. I've got a carbon made carbon end rib glued onto the foam cut to the black profile of the wing so I want this to basically overlap that little bit of carbon I thought it was too much it's actually probably just a fraction for a little reason spots that I need to address. way to distribute this resin very evenly over the entire surface is working like this. Right, there's a few dry spots down here. So there you can see now the, the wing is completely wet out, the skin, nicely evenly distributed. Yeah, 
in these spots. I think I'm quite happy with that. Now, the thing is to put this onto the actual uh, wing itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, turn the wing around. I'm going to move the camera over to this side. So I'm going to turn it around so that the leading edge is facing me. Alright. So we'll just get this camera lined up so you can pretty much see what I'm going to be doing. Right, so now I've got the wing uh, bottom side up, as you can see here, and uh, this spark caps are in, the leading edge is on, and the leading edge is getting into nicely into that cure, semi-cured stage. It's still wet, but it's not runny, slippery, anything. It's stuck in position, it's gone green. And I'm ready now to take the skin and put it on to the foam. So, just carefully lift this up and then very carefully, a big wing like this is quite tricky to, to do. Now, all I'm making sure of here is that the mylors basically line up flush with the leading edge. There we go. So the mylars here are pretty much flush in line with the leading edge. Take a cloth and we can rub this down. And make sure that everything is now rubbed down, stuck down to the actual foam. Of course this is all going to go in a bag and everything will be consolidated down. And also make sure that it's just over the, the end end rib. Right, so now this is obviously stuck down. I need to now turn this back over and I need to lay this into the outer bottom core which is laying on my workbench here and just want to make sure that this thing lies in there nicely and it's now ready for me to carry on with the next stage. I'm going to um, just get some prepare, uh, prepared. I need to make sure that the other skin is ready uh, and I'll come back and I'll show you just snippets of me putting the spar caps in, um, how I deal with the trailing edge. I need to put a slurry along the trailing edge over there because of all these little chips in the foam. Um, I use a little mix of cabosol um, an epoxy mix to fill up these little imperfections along the trailing edge here. Yeah, I'll show you that shortly.